Today I'm going to show you how to clean a modern muzzle loader. First thing you want to do, I'm after shooting this firearm, so, so I know there's nothing in it, but otherwise I would act screw it. So I assume it's loaded, control the direction of the muzzle, keep my finger off the trigger, and see that it's safe. Now, when I open it up, I found a primer, dead primer, so I take that out. I want to ensure there's no obstructions in the barrel, so I can A, either rot it, once I have ensured there's no ignition source on the firearm, or with the modern muzzle loaders, I can take out the breech plug, and I can actually physically look down the bore, and there's nothing there but a pile of black powder residue from shooting. So how do you clean the modern muzzle loader? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is put a set of caps on the scope, prevent any dirt from getting on the lenses. Second thing I'm going to do is I just boil this kettle. So I'm going to take the kettle and pour some hot water into a container. That's how people have been cleaning black powder firearms for a long time. And I put a little drop, just a drop. Yep, just a drop of dish soap in this container. Take the patch. rod, take the firearm itself, put the firearm in the hot water, put the patch over the breech end, if at all possible in cleaning firearms, to clean them from the breech end, clean them from the breech end. You want to keep the stick, the rod, away from the muzzle, that's the most important part, because that's what the bullet touches last as it leaves the barrel. So the muzzle is very important, you don't want to damage that. You just take a tight fitting rod and you put it down until it stops. Now you're at the bottom of the container. Now you have now you have like a like a syringe effect. So when I pull this up, you will see water. The water's coming up right to here. Okay, and all you're doing is you're syringing out the barrel. You can actually see the water in here, you can see it churning up. see you can see the dirt coming off on the patch that I use so you do that a few times and you will get all the contaminants out of the barrel now you have a very hot barrel because it's hot water from the kettle what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the big firearm out of the hot water solution I'm going to take a little bit of hot water from the kettle and I'm going to rinse what little bit of soap is in there firearm. Now, just like your dishwasher, when you wash dishes, dishes in the dishwasher, they, they dry off relatively quickly because of the hot water. The hot water heats up the dish and the dish evaporates the water in turn. The exact same thing happens with your muzzle loader. The water is so hot, it was just boiling, that when I rinse it, it actually heats up the metal and the metal causes the water vapor to evaporate. When that's done, when it's all dry, barrel is nice and dry then I take another patch I can take one and dry it if it's not entirely dry I take one that put a little bit of oil on it so whatever this is CLP but you use whatever oil you typically use for your firearms then you put a little grease on this after you clean this up in this solution I use a brass bristle brush give this a good scrubbing in the salt in the soapy water solution then I put it all back together before I use it again, I'll pass a clean patch through the barrel to wipe up any oil that's left in the barrel before I reload it, because the oil will kill black powder or black powder substitute that you use. Hope this works out for you.